Hello everyone and welcome back. It's a real nice morning this morning. It was 39 degrees. It's starting to warm up right now and I need to get these potatoes in. Uh, Zachary and Samantha's wedding was just two days ago. It's just been busy up to this point. Melissa's out there mowing the grass on the riding lawnmower and I just did the second till right there because I want to get the potatoes and the onion sets in today. Uh, the plants that I have out there they can wait until next weekend. I might get some of them in this week, but I'd like to get this in now, and then I can start putting in my bean seeds, my carrots, and stuff like that. For potatoes, I got purples again this year. I just I just think they're kind of fun, so they taste good. I could not find Pontiac Red, so I got uh, these Norlands, which I've grown before. They get nice and big, too. And I've got some of these Kennebec, these uh, yellows or whites, uh, whatever you want to call them. I don't even know what they really call these. Anyway, these are the light colored ones. For the onions, I've got whites, I've got yellows, and I've got reds. I'll get this raked out. I've got to make some garden steaks in the workshop. Uh, I just started the barbecue because it's time to start cooking lunch. I've got some baked potatoes that are on here right now. I'm going to cook up a couple of ribeyes and a few pork chops. I think I'm going to make some macaroni and cheese with that. Macaroni is all done. I made up some green beans and now those steaks and chops should be done soon. The uh, baked potatoes are finished. It's almost time for lunch. Okay everyone, well it's time to eat. I don't have my 100 foot tape here today, so that's going to have to do it for my straight line. And then I'll just use my other tape measure to measure these out. I think with the potatoes this year, I think I'm going to do about, uh, I can't remember if I did 18 or 24 inches apart. I'll measure it out here and see which one I want to go with. I think I'm going to do 18 inches apart. That seems about like what I usually do. Well this whole row here I'm going to do in reds, so all the holes are dug. I'll go grab that bag of potatoes and we'll get them in the ground. Remember, if you guys want to know, I, I have a video out there called The Life Cycle of a Potato, How to Grow Potatoes. 
shows my whole entire season start to finish and shows a better way or in more detail how I plant these so you guys can look that video up. Well, I have three more potatoes, so I'm going to get these uh, three in these holes. And then what I think I'm going to do, the whites will probably be about the same, or yellows or whatever, and then the rest of the row I'll do in purple on both sides. So I definitely, I still have potatoes from last year uh, in the workshop right there. In fact, some of those purples are sprouting up. I could have actually used those for seed potatoes, but I didn't really look before I bought these. Well, I'm back out here. It's actually the next day. Yesterday I just ended up do, doing yard stuff. We got the whole yard mowed and I had some trees that had to be trimmed up along the driveway and I never made it back out to the garden. So tonight it's, uh, I think it's already maybe around 7 o'clock right now and I want to get the onions planted anyway. plant these now I'm going to go about six inches apart you can get them down as low as three inches but it's really hard to get a hole in between there to get the weeds out once they start growing and just like that potato video I have a video on planting onions that goes through the whole life cycle of an onion you can search for that on the channel also and learn exactly how I do this Planting depth is kind of important if you don't want to, if you want a, like a bulb onion versus a green onion. So, just barely want to put these in the ground. Now that I have my yellow, white, and uh, red onions planted, I think I might throw in one row of beans. I'm going to put in a 
I don't know, it'll be two or three rows of beans. I have a little shorter row here on the right where I just tilled. And I think I'm going to put in some providers on this one. I've got uh, a few different kinds, I have, and I also do wax beans every year. So anyway, I still have time to throw one more thing in here before i got to run inside. With the beans, I like to plant them about three inches apart, about one inch deep. They say to thin them to six inches apart once they come up. I never do. Two or three beans in each hole because they're not all going to germinate. Okay everyone, well thanks a lot for watching. Potatoes are in, three kinds of onions are in, and one row of beans is in. So more beans to plant, a lot more garden to plant, but at least we're well on our way. I'll see you guys on the next video.